Hey guys, I am here with a brand new wig and I'm trying some different things with my videos. So when I get a new wig, if I can, I'm going to try to film me putting it on out of the box because I'd like for you guys to see what a wig can look like out of the box and how I react to that and what my plan is to deal with it. Because this is the biggest problem we have as wig sisters. When we get wigs and they don't look like we expect, if we're new enough at this, we're lost. We don't know what to do. Should I send it back? Is it defective? This doesn't look like I expected. So I'm going to start trying to give you guys the whole picture in a video versus, you know, I'll come on with a wig that I might have already gotten wet and scrunched and all of those things. I'm not saying I will never do that again, but as I can, I'm going to try to do these spliced together videos where you get an out of the box look and then you get after I've messed with their look. So this I'm really excited about you guys. So those of you who know me know I love, love Girl Mono by Ellen Villa. Absolutely love her. She was my first wig that worked for me and I have since owned her in six colors. I still owe actually a six color comparison on that one. But I had an opportunity to purchase Ellen Villa Turn. Brand new for the Changes collection. I've never had a chance like this. I did purchase it, but I was able to get it at a really good discount. And I'm so excited because I would never have bought this without that discount because there's only one review out there. Right now, as I'm filming this, I've only seen Taz do a review. And while I love Taz's reviews, wig buying is a risk for us. It's expensive. And I hesitate to purchase wigs that I can't see reviews on. I, I want to see it on multiple people, multiple face shapes, multiple heads, multiple, co you know, coloring. I mean, everything. And so I'm really excited because uh, while they did pay for it, the risk for me was lowered because I got a good discount. So anyway, that's my disclaimer. Here's my Ellen. There's, this is a cool tag too. I've never seen a tag like this from them. So this is the color chocolate mix. And that the number on that is 6.30. And once again, thank you so much, Ellen Villa, for putting your color codes on your tags. Please, wig manufacturers, give us something to work with with these colors. They can be so difficult. Hold on, guys. I've got a... My dad was calling me. I had to decline his call, but this is going to be quick, and I'll call him back. Okay, so here we go. I haven't put this on yet. I just pulled it out of the box. I wanted to see it with you guys. Oh my. Oh, she's so cute. I'm serious, you guys. These curls. This is Girl Mono. Shorter. Totally. This is a shorter version of Girl Mono. A lot shorter version of Girl Mono. Look at that. Oh my gosh. She is so adorable. I'm looking in the mirror behind. I can't help myself. It's really cute. Okay. I'm not going to need to do a whole lot with this one. This was, this one came really great out of the box. So this, uh, so, uh, turn has a lace front and Ellen Villa lace fronts. I'm always pleased with their lace fronts. And this one's good too. She also has a mono part, a left side mono part and just these super cute curls. Look at those curls. That's out of the box. Adorable. Let me get my mirror so I can see the back. Oh, wow. sorry guys. Because I haven't seen the back. Oh wow, look at that. I really like this. Okay, I'm pleased. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video or stop the video and I'm going to just mess around with her and you know, see if there's anything I want to do. Do I want to spray her down? Am I totally happy with her the way she looks? And then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think. But this is the out of the box. This is one of those great, great situations where you get a wig out of the box and it actually looks like you expect it to look. And so th that's just a happy, happy situation. And that does happen. It just doesn't always happen. Um, let me just grab a clip here. I just want to play now because I'm so thrilled. I mean, 
this lace front's gonna let me do some fun clipping it off the face. Oh, there's so much. And I haven't had this color from Ellen Villa before. I have chocolate rooted, but I haven't had this chocolate mix and I really like it. It's this warm, warm chocolatey brown. And then it's got these highlights. So it's 630. So the brown is the six. That's kind of a medium dark brown. And the 30 is an auburn. And you can just see that auburn. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, guys, I'll be back and we'll talk more about turn. Hey guys, I am back. Okay, so it's a couple of days later since I filmed the out of the box. And since then, I sprayed her with water. Very lightly, I didn't really soak her down because I really liked the curl as it came out of the box. So I sprayed her with water a little bit, I scrunched her a little bit, and I hung her upside down. And she was hanging upside down for the couple of days. And then this morning, I stuck her on a wig head for the day while I was at work, just to let her settle. And right now, right before, or as I was getting ready to turn the video on, I took a little piece out cream, just a little bit, very little. And I kinda more messed with this part of her than anything. Uh, so, so the curl you see here is really, for the most part, out of the box. Such little was done to her. Just a little bit of water, I didn't soak her, I didn't drench her and a tiny, tiny bit of piece out cream, kind of like right here. So, unbelievable. I love this wig, I am so happy. So, let me just give you guys a good look. So again, this is in the color Chocolate Mix, which is 6.30. So pretty. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you girl mono with this one so that you can see how I really believe this is just a shorter version of girl mono. So if you are a girl mono fan and maybe you have girl mono and you wanted to get a shorter version that you might be able to switch up maybe in the summer, you might want to go a little shorter and it, all it will look like is you got your hair cut. If you're really trying to maintain uh, anonymity with your wig wearing, I really think you could pull it off. And I think this chocolate mix is incredibly, incredibly similar to Chocolate Rooted. Chocolate Rooted is 6.30.4. So it's really the same color, it just has a four root. Whereas this one doesn't really have a darker root. This one kinda does. Maybe you'll be able to see it when it's on. It's really not noticeable. So I think they look really similar. So anyway, so this is, you can see, it's a very, very short bob. So the length goes about here on me, kind of my jawline. And my measurements from here to here um, are eight inches. So if you have a seven inch measurement, this might go almost down to your chin. So just think about that with how your face measures. And I always have my measurements in the description box. So you can take a look at how uh, my measurements stack up to yours and get a sense of how it's gonna work for you. From here to here is four and a half inches, I think. And so the bangs are roughly four and a half inches or so. But just so cute. And she's so fun. I mean, you can really, if you wanted to put more product in her and really scrunch this one up and make her wild, you totally could. She doesn't really have permatease. Uh, so you're not going to get a lot more kind of lift or volume, but putting some product in, I think she'll hold that really well because she's short enough that she doesn't really have any weight to pull those curls down. Something I want to mention while I got you guys here is I have heard people say that Girl Mono has permatease and I've been saying Girl Mono doesn't have permatease. So I want to clear something up with that. There are different kinds of permatease. There are, there's the nesty, pillowy permatease that is like poofy, sometimes on the crown, sometimes you get it, my, my Shana by Tressalure has a lot of permatease. Um, Hollywood by Main Attraction, very poofy permatease. Then there's um, like kind of little crimped fibers at the end of where the fibers are tied in. And if anything, that's the kind of permatease do you see that? That girl mono has. Just a little bit of crimped fibers right on the wefting. I mean, you can see 
It's not if heavy permatease at all. So I maybe technically girl mono has permatease. I would not consider this permatease as most of us think of it. It's more because she's a curly style. It just gives it a little lift off the cap, but it doesn't give it any poof, if that makes sense. So I, I felt the need to clear that up because I've seen that a few times and I always say girl mono doesn't have permatease. So did you get a good look at this one? Because I'm gonna switch them and then I'll show you the cap. Oh, and I do want to show you the, the hairline. So good. So good. I, I really like Ellen Villa hairlines. I've not had any issues with them. And so the beautiful thing is you're going to be able to clip her up. You're just going to have some different styling options with her. So that's, that's going to be awesome. All right, so let me switch it up for you. When I get warm, my nose gets runny. So you'll start to hear me later on in videos kind of sniffling because I always get hot making these videos. When it's winter, I'll be able to open my bathroom window and make it cold in here. Okay, so this is a brand new Girl Mono that I've not worn yet. So she is, this one's literally out of the box. I'm gonna need to do some things with her. She's got some cold crimping going on right here, I think. I hope not because I don't know, but I'll, so she's, she's a little not perfect because she's my backup and I have not worn this one yet. But can you see why I say that turn is just a shorter version of Girl Mono? The curl pattern is really, really similar. The color is really, really similar. She's just chin length, she's just longer. She's below chin length actually. So if you like Girl Mono and you could go shorter, I'm, I'm recommending Turn. I really am. I also think Turn's cap is a little bigger. It feels bigger. It doesn't feel as, as tight on my head. I think the cap's a little bigger. And I thought I heard in Taz's video, which is the only review I've seen on Turn so far, that uh, she felt the cap was a little stretchier and bigger. So average, average girls, maybe an Ellen Villa wig. So anyway, this has been Turn. I haven't worn Turn yet except for this review. So I will be back once I've worn her. I'm actually gonna wear her now. Uh, but once I've worn her a few times, I'll come back and I'll let you know what I'm thinking and, and how she's doing. So again, there aren't a lot of videos out there about turn yet and, and I understand the reticence of ordering wigs until you can see a lot of reviews. So all I can tell you is that I wholeheartedly recommend this wig based on the one that I have. And if you already know you like Girl Mono, and you know you can do something shorter, don't hesitate. If you, get, if you can find yourself a good deal on turn, snap her up. Thanks for watching you guys, I hope you have a good one. Hey guys, I wanna give you a look uh, at turn in some different lights. I always forget to do that and mention it at the, in the videos, but the other thing I realized I didn't mention was that this one does have a lace part and I did talk about the lace front or mono part, a left side mono part, just like Girl Mono. I just forgot to mention that. So let's look at it outside. I'm gonna open my door here so you can see this chocolate mix and outside light. Such a pretty color. It's got the 30 running through it, which is an auburn, and it's such a beautiful chocolatey color. So the mono part is a bit dense, so if you wanted it to show through, you're going to have to do some work, but I think it looks fine. So there you go, outside look at chocolate mix. And another thing I thought of after I stopped the video, I don't have the best face for this length. I have a very round face and it's a bit on the long side. So I don't know how flattering this is on me versus someone with maybe a thinner face or a more petite face. I'm still gonna wear it and I'm still gonna love it. But keep those things in mind when you see these videos. I don't know if I'm the best model for this one. 
but I still love it and I and I don't care but if you're looking at it wondering how it would look on you consider your face shape um, as it relates to mine anyway thanks for watching guys